learn this planet my dear children children this is session 2 about animals and their young ones children in the previous session we studied about egg laying animals and some birds and now we will study about some animals that lay eggs just like birds so let's start with the first animal that is frog children a frog lays eggs in large clusters called spawns so frog eggs are called spawns you can see in the picture these are frog's eggs and they are present in the large clusters and so they are called as spawns children a tadpole hatches out of the egg which looks very different from the adult frog so here you can see this is the egg of a frog in which a tadpole is present right so this is the tadpole which hatches out of the egg and it looks very very different from the adult frog so children a frog undergoes several changes before it becomes an adult and this process is called as metamorphosis right let's revise a frog lays eggs in large clusters and it is called spawn or we can say as spawns and a tadpole hatches out of this egg which looks very different from the adult frog so the laying from the laying of egg to forming or producing an adult frog it undergoes several changes right so before becoming an adult a frog frog's egg goes undergoes several changes and this process is called metamorphosis right it is called as metamorphosis so children now we will study about another animal that is butterfly so butterfly also lay eggs just like birds so we can say that the life cycle of a butterfly also shows metamorphosis so you can see the butterfly right a butterfly also shows metamorphosis means they also undergo several changes before they become an adult and that is why this process is called as metamorphosis so children first of all it is the caterpillar that comes out from the egg and this caterpillar looks very different from the fully grown butterfly right this is a caterpillar and you might have seen butterfly so this caterpillar and butterfly look very different but it is the butterfly is actually a caterpillar right how because the caterpillar comes out from the egg and it becomes a grown butterfly after some time but there is a difference that they look different while they are small and when they are grown up okay so caterpillar and the grown butterfly look different from each other so children this process of shedding the old skin is called molting 
right what kind of process is called as molting yes when there is pupa the pupa what happens how does this pupa forms yes first of all there is egg and then that egg hatches into a caterpillar then this caterpillar stage is known as larva right then the caterpillar builds a cocoon around itself to form a pupa and then the pupa sheds its skin many times and becomes an adult butterfly so children always remember that the larva of a house fly is called a maggot m a double g o t and the baby cockroach is called a nymph n y m p h nymph so children the life cycle of a butterfly shows metamorphosis in which the stage includes that is the process of shedding the old skin so when the pupa sheds its skin this process of shedding the old skin is called the molting right so children let's revise again yes the life cycle of a butterfly shows metamorphosis how first it is an egg which hatches into a caterpillar then caterpillar stage is called larva then this caterpillar builds a cocoon around itself to form a pupa that is p u p a pupa and the pupa sheds its skin many times this process of shedding the skin is called molting and finally then it grows into an adult butterfly so children also remember that there are about 15000 different types of butterflies right isn't it amazing yes so children we studied about two animals that give birth to young ones or eggs yes we studied about the two animals that lay eggs that were frog and butterfly so both show the process of metamorphosis and now we are going to study about the animals that give birth to babies or we can say that the animals that give birth to young ones some so animals do not lay eggs instead they give birth to young babies that feed on their mother's milk and such animals that feed on their mother's milk or the babies that feed on their mother's milk are called as mammals so children always remember that mammals are those animals that do not lay eggs and they give birth to young babies that feed on their mother's milk right children most mammals have hair on their body but there are some mammals that do not have hair on their body for example whales and dolphins whales and dolphins are the mammals which are found in water but they do not have hair on their body but most of the mammals which you will see on the land have hair on their body children you will also be amazed or surprised to know that mammals have very well developed brain right so they have very well developed brain system due to which 
दे हैव वेरी गुड थिंकिंग पावर एंड दे कैन रिमेंबर एवरी थिंग सेम वे वी ह्यूमन बींग्स आर द कॉमन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मैमल्स यू कैन सी लाइक दिस मॉन्की मॉन्की इज अ मैमल राइट सेम वे द ह्यूमन बींग्स एंड सम एनिमल्स आर कॉमन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मैमल्स एंड वी द ह्यूमन बींग्स आर ऑल्सो कॉल एज मैमल्स so now let's see some examples of mammals yes we human beings are mammals and other examples are cat then monkey then deer then cow then lion then elephant then buffalo hippopotamus rabbit giraffe zebra so all are some examples these are some common examples of mammals now we will see one interesting fact that there is a mammal like duck billed platypus that do not give birth to babies they lay eggs instead so this is a picture of a mammal that is duck billed platypus that do not gives birth to babies they lay eggs right so this is an exception because we studied that all mammals lay do not lay eggs they give birth to the babies but this is such a mammal that do not give birth to the babies they lay eggs right so always remember this it's very important children most mammals live on land and they breed through lungs so you can see the picture of lungs right like we human beings live on land and we breathe through lungs so most of the other mammals also live on land and they breathe through lungs but as we saw that whales and dolphins are also mammals right so they also breathe through lungs but how they come first they first come to the surface of the water occasionally to breathe in air and again they go into the water right so whales and dolphins are also mammals that breathe through lungs and come to the surface of the water occasionally that is some time to breathe in air so children we can say that just like as our parents look after us all other mammals look after their babies like you can see here a baby rhinoceros with her mother rhinoceros and this is puppy with a dog with her parent right so we can say that these all are mammals like our parents look after us all other mammals also look after their babies and most of them build houses to protect their babies from enemies and they also hunt for food so you can see here this is a beehive bees build houses on the top of the buildings right to protect their babies or to make honey 
and to protect themselves from enemies also right and some animals also hunt for food right so they build house to protect their babies from enemies and also they hunt for food right children you will be very happy to know that the mother feeds her babies her own milk right and she cleans them and keeps them warm right so like human beings there are other mammals also that feed her babies her own milk the mother feeds her babies her own milk and she cleans them and keeps them warm right so always respect your mother and love your mother okay children so children i hope that you enjoyed this session and learned about the animals and their young ones right so we will meet in the next session with a new lesson till then keep learning keep enjoying and love your mother take care thank you children